Good day, guys. Welcome to the first episode of You Show Me Yours, because I Show You Mine. Now, usually, uh, people will talk about the cups and this and that. We'll get to cups at some point. But first thing I want to do is do bottle openers. Let's do bottle openers first, okay? Everybody has a collection of bottle openers. I know you guys do. I do. You do. I have, like, 200 different bottle openers. Now, I picked one of each different style. To, sh to talk about, I'm not going to show you my whole fucking canister of bottle openers because who cares, right? First and foremost, we have the BB Barfly. I have like 15 of these guys, right? All different colors. Uh, some of them are Albino Rhino beer review ones. Some of them aren't because they sent me a sample one to uh, play with uh, beforehand. So I actually really like this one because you can actually save bottle caps with it. Uh, especially if you put a little bit of tape on here, then you don't ever bend them. But for the most part, this guy saves a bottle cap amazingly. And that makes it a great thing to have if you're a bottle cap player. Next is just this little piece of crap, right? It's just a, uh, just a poker chip. Poker chip, I got it from work. I don't want to so I got it from work. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do a very good job saving bottle caps, so who cares, right? There's hundreds of these around my house. This is the old Nickel Brook uh, one. This is what you see most people have. I mean, at work, most people have these two at work. This is their opener, but they'll have this huge with a tape. Gigantic, and then they, so they know who's who, all different colors. It doesn't save bottle caps either very well. Another one that doesn't save bottle caps very well is the credit card opener. Uh, yeah, Carlsberg credit card opener. It opens bottles really nicely. It has a nice leverage, leverage on it, but it doesn't really save anything. Another a piece of crap that I was bought by a buddy of mine. A little skull magnet. There's actually a magnet on the back of this, which is nice because it just sits on the fridge and it's a. Uh, it's a, oh my god, I, I lost my opener type of opener. Uh, another Carlsberg one. I had my badge on this for a while until I got told I couldn't, which doesn't make sense because I work for the beverage department or whatever. Um, so this is a Carlsberg lanyard. Here's where my badge was. And here's my opener. That way I always had an opener there and ready. Uh, next, uh, yeah, you got these guys, right? These two different types. Uh, these are both just uh, bar tools. Bar tools with your little knife, your opener, and a corkscrew. Uh, of the two of them, this guy is by far the better to have around. Uh, this guy here, this side that you're doing it with, and you're just ripping the caps off. You're destroying them with that guy. But this one here, uh, it goes straight across the entire cap, and then you pry it off. This actually takes a cap off with almost no damage at all. So if you want to save caps, it's another good one for you. Um, then. I have another just keychain one, right? Just stupid little keychain one. Same opening as a lot of them destroys everything. Uh, another last resort type thing. It's a little Budweiser keychain guy. Um, a little book. That's for really, you know, I'm doing a video. Why would you throw laundry down the stairs? Let's uh, pull the tabs up. Like, seriously, come on. Um, speed bars. Everybody knows a speed bar, right? There's two different speed bars here. There's the dog bone. There's the regular one. Uh, this one here destroys caps, you can tell by the little thing there. This one actually will save the cap really nicely because it has the two straights. We'll put that on there too. Uh, just a, another stupid one from... Seriously? Seriously. Another stupid one from Stella Artois. Uh, another fridge magnet one. Oseki. Just throw it on the fridge. Does everything you need it to do. Are you peeing in the sink now? <laughs> have, uh, this is probably the worst opener I have actually ever owned. This is a Stellar Artois one that came in a Christmas gift pack. Uh, it slips off all the time. It takes like four tries to, uh, to open a cap. So I'm sure everybody has a stupid one too that they hate. Then they got this guy. This guy is your average can opener. So there's your sharp pin to open the can. There's your bottle opener spot. That off to the side. Then we had, had this come in the mail today, and I'm actually going to do a little review of this tomorrow. This is the new opener from the U.S. from uh, St. Louis. This is the Snake Bite. So nice uh, little keychain opener, right? Nice looking little leather holder. Slip her open, and there she is, right? There she is. She's the Snake Bite. So. First and foremost, just your average can of a bottle opener, right? Put the flat on, tear it up, it's going to tear the thing off. These things are fucking sharp as fuck. 
Uh, it's actually used to put snake bites in a can. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this tomorrow and see what I think of it. Don't know yet what I think of it. But lastly, lastly is the this guy. And when I bought this, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It saves caps fully. It's a flying monkey pop top, right? So you put it on the top, push it down, and it is supposed to pop the cap out, right? Now, uh, this thing seems so cool until you start using it. Sometimes when you slam it down, you're going to pop some beer out of the top. Uh, and then beer gets in it, and it gets sticky as hell, and it doesn't work anymore. So this thing was cool when I first got it. Every once in a while, I get it to work. But uh, for the most part, it does not work anymore. So it's a sad thing. So there we go. One of each of them. Well, one of each style. Didn't show you all of them. So show me what you have bottle opener-wise. I, uh, I know that it's hard that YouTube doesn't let you do... Uh, response videos anymore, but just post the link in the comments down there and we'll, we'll go from there. Thank you guys. Now show me yours. Bye.